This week we are taking a slightly different path. We have previously discussed the massive mammoth remains in both Alaska and Siberia, and its possible connection to some catastrophic event. Many questions still remain about how so many mammoths could end up in these very concentrated amounts. We have also discussed the possibility that there is something very wrong with our idea of recorded history, and that what we call cavemen were in fact far from primitive. So when I stumbled upon an article that talked about a 25,000 year old structure in Russia built out of the bones of mammoths, my ears pricked up. Let's dive into this mystery. Far south of Moscow, archaeologists have uncovered what they describe as a jaw-dropping example of Ice Age architecture. It is a huge circular structure built with the bones of at least 60 mammoths. It is located at Kostenki, a place where many important Paleolithic sites lie clustered around the Don River. One archaeologist commented, Clearly a lot of time and effort went into building this structure, so it was obviously important to the people that made it for some reason. There are a few clues that have been left behind. They believe that fires once burnt within the structure and food scraps, including vegetables, have been discovered. Several pits containing mammoth bones lie just outside of the bone circle and may suggest food storage. The archaeologists admit that you obviously get a lot of food from a mammoth, so the idea that food processing and food storage activities were going on at this site is something that they want to investigate further. To some, the grandeur of the structure suggests it was used for something other than simple food storage. Was there a connection to any sort of ritual? Mammoth bone structures are well known to archaeologists and can be found across Eastern Europe, but much, much smaller than this one. These other sites also date back to around 22,000 years. These have normally been considered as dwellings that helped their builders cope with the frigid temperatures during the Ice Age. This structure is 3,000 years older than these. The size, date and scale of this structure make it stand out as truly exceptional. Building this would have been very time consuming and implies it had a purpose and was built to last. The smaller mammoth houses feature more definitive cooking hearths, and they contain the remains of reindeer, horses, and fox. And they use this to imply that these people would feed on whatever was available to them. This new structure lacks evidence of other animal remains, and predates all other structures. All the small structures had no evidence of charcoal, so no wood was burnt inside them. But in the larger structure, there is clear evidence that they were burning wood inside the structure. This indicates not only a different behavior, that there were trees around for them to burn. When they analyzed the tree rings in the charcoal, they found them to be narrow, suggesting the trees struggled to survive. Previous studies have also indicated that coniferous trees could survive in forest stretches along riversides like here. This in itself might have drawn people looking to survive. The problem is, if people were not living in the structure, then why were they lighting fires? And this may have been part of a process to allow the meat to be dry cured in the heat and the smoke. Further analysis of the fire pits and surroundings may reveal fat drops to confirm this idea. Analysis of the coal also reveals that vegetables seem to have featured as part of their diet. As of yet, they have not completed the full analysis of this, but initial indications are that these were some type of root vegetable. Now, there are a number of questions that this raises. Firstly, where did all the mammoths come from? Assuming for now that these were hunter-gatherers with basic tools, hunting down a mammoth is no easy feat. Then dragging the carcass back to this location and doing this over 60 times it all seems a little bit too much. If there were that many mammoths around, then surely there would also be smaller animals which would have been much easier to hunt. So why only mammoths? One alternative idea is that they didn't hunt them at all. Instead, they scavenged them. But that would require some sort of mass grave. 
And where have we come across that idea before? When we examined Velikovsky's Earth in Upheaval, we looked at both Alaska and Siberia, where there were vast quantities of mammoth remains. In fact, in Siberia, they are largely whole carcasses, and this in itself fueled the ivory trade that still goes on today. Now, clearly, there are no known sources of these in this area today, at least that we know of. And this gets back to the question of the age, 25,000 years. The idea for Siberia and Alaska deposits is that they are about 15,000 years old. So could it be that a similar event that caused the Siberia and Alaska mass freezing occurred much earlier, around 27 to 30,000 years ago, freezing the mammoths in a mass grave? Could these people have stumbled upon one of these mass graves and built this as a shrine, and at the same time a place to cure the sacred meat? Could the later buildings be smaller imitation copies of this larger structure? But again, by scavenging the bones, not hunting the mammoths. Storing and processing vast quantities of meat would also have attracted nearby carnivores, yet there is little evidence to suggest that this was a problem. The other point that I think is important is the finding of the root vegetables. Is it possible that these were foraged, but again, finding it amongst the charcoal implies it was commonly used? So how much foraging would it take? Is it possible that they were instead farming this? At this stage, there is no evidence to support this idea, but I would question what would be left of a farm field after 25,000 years. Now, what did the entire structure actually look like? All that we see is the remains of what is assumed to be the foundation. Was it a dome shape? Did it have other elements? If the poles have shifted in the past, what was the climate like here? The tree rings and the charcoal suggest that the trees struggle to grow, but how many different samples of coal were there? What was the origin of the wood or the charcoal that they burnt? We know that in Siberia there were also trees buried with the mammoths. Could the charcoal or the wood that they were burning have originated from their mass grave which had been frozen? Now this finding certainly raises many many questions and shows how complex it is to try and reconstruct what might have happened. It also shows that there may be more similarities that are not being looked at across many of these types of sites. As always, be brave, be curious, the truth is waiting for us. Until next time.